Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we got a couple of things. We installed the short shifter on the BMW E46. I'm gonna show you guys about that a little later. But right now, my buddy Umar, he has a Lexus RCF. We're doing some work on that, so let me show you guys. Um, Umar, tell us what's going on with the car. Uh, there's a little hole in the grill. And by little, I mean a big one, right here. Mm -hmm. Someone just kicked it in, honestly. So what are we about to do? Uh, we're about to change the lower grill. You know, there's a top part and a bottom part, as you said, so. You know, just changing the bottom part, you know, get it brand, you know, get it brand new. Hopefully this works. The first thing we're going to be doing is going to be removing all of these clips. Uh, it's going to be all from the top of the grill. Then we're going to be removing the three on the side, on each side, which go right over here. One, two, and three. And then we're going to remove that 10 millimeter bolt. So another thing to keep in mind, guys, is there is 10 bolts underneath the bottom that you do need to remove. Well, like six to 10 bolts. And then, uh, one 10 millimeter on both sides of the wheel well. Um, after that, there's just a couple clips. You just remove that, the front bumper comes off. So we got the front bumper removed. There's so many bolts and clips. So now, when we're looking over here, um, we going to, it should be, yeah, so what it is in the diagram, there's gonna be a couple, four bolts. It should be this one and one on that side. And it should be a total of 10 more. What is it, boy? So we removed the bottom grill. Kind of didn't really show you guys on how to do it, but it's pretty much pretty self forward. It's just clips and bolts, pretty much that's what it is. So we got a new grill right there. We're gonna go ahead and pop that on. This is the old trash one. You can probably sell this on the back market for like a couple hundred bucks. So to put the bottom part back on, we're just putting up the three screws. Um, and when we throw it back on the bumper, the bottom one has four screws, or yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. And then there's a couple of screws right on the edges, and then the rest are just clips. And then easiest way that we found it was to take out the fog light assembly. There's two bolts, one on the top, one on the bottom. Pretty self forward. And boys, the finished product is done. It is 100 degrees, but the new grill is popped on. The old one is no more. Wasn't too bad. It was pretty, pretty self forward. It took roughly about an hour, but he's happy. So just to give you guys a quick rundown on pricing. So he got a quote from Lexus and but they would only replace the full grill and that full grill costs a little around twelve hundred dollars plus an additional labor the quote is coming out to be three grand um three to three to three to four thousand dollars um so i told them to wait on it i went to the lexus dealership i looked at the diagram and it, it was an upper and a lower part of that grill so i told them i was like hey let's check it out let's um so I looked at the lower one, it was right where the hole was. So I was like, dude, this is perfect. The lower one was like $250 to $300. And we bought it from Lexus, so it's a genuine part, direct fit. And we got it, we popped it on, and it's it's so much cheaper. And, but yeah. All right, so now since we got all that stuff done, the Lexus is done, that's good to go. We have a little bit of lighting. Um, I'm thinking about going ahead and washing the cars. Um, this Accord, I, the Accord I haven't washed in so long, um, and I still haven't given the BMW its first wash ever since I painted it. Um, but let me show you how dirty this Accord is. I don't know if you guys can. I don't know if you guys can see all that. You should be able to. But yeah, I haven't given this car clean in so long that you guys can still see all the dirty. It has been super hot. Like it's 100 degrees today, and this baby needs a clean. And this one also needs a clean, so I'm gonna go ahead and give both those two a clean up, and yeah. All right, I'm probably gonna set you guys up on the tripod, but get got the car wheels cleaned up first, and then now I got the car foamed up. I can't wait to give this car its first bath. The wheels are hella dirty. But guys, that's basically it for today's video. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Please share, subscribe, and like. And remember, guys, live your dreams to its full potential. See you guys. For a distant star Don't stop now Isn't it strange how we're safe and home To the encounter days until the second time